Welcome back to my Battlefleet Gothic uh, playthrough campaign. So in this, I can tell you that, you know, uh, if you guys were here last uh, session, you really should see that. We really put ourselves on the line. And, and I don't know, it was probably not the, the wisest decision campaign-wise, but we almost lost the entire campaign last game. So if you didn't see that, I recommend you go take a look at it. But we didn't do it on purpose. There's some things that I didn't realize. Like when I jumped over this chaos fleet to just take over the harder fleet with my harder fleet, uh, then I had zero retreat points, and um, and also then there was a bug with with some um, with some of my uh, my escorts. So I mean, you know, in my opinion, you guys are watching me play. I'm watching me play. I don't like to save save scum. Although we could have discussed if a bug, if we should have us uh, uh, scum saved, if it was a bug that caused us to lose. You know, I'm kind of up to myself and. Harris, the uh, Vengeance of Harris, I think is my, uh, my, my carrier and my main fleet, <clears throat> the one subscriber I have. So if you guys subscribe and you let me, if I see the subscription, then what I'll do is I'll rename uh, a ship after you. So we'll have all the subscriptions we'll be moving through. But, um, uh, you know, I, I thought to do something different and boy, it almost cost me, but I thought it was more exciting and we didn't win by much. And uh, we lost, you know, half our uh, escorts, but, um, you know, I know, I think, yeah, was it? Half the escorts or three out of five of the escorts, so it was a pain. So, what we're gonna do is in turn here. Um, I don't think we can attack yet. Yeah, because these guys just moved up here. So, I'm gonna in turn and then I'm gonna attack with these two fleets to this one. Isn't that interesting? They. Why is Nemesis Terra. Oh, Tessera has a. Uh... Okay, so. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna come over here. Okay, is this a forge world? This is a hive world. It will give me resources. This is a forge world and it will give me, no, that's an agriculture world, sorry. This is a forge world, but we're not there yet. So this is a hive world and it will give me 20 resources. So it'll take me a while to really make that up, but the asteroid, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna upgrade this asteroid and then I'm gonna upgrade this um, hive world uh, because I think that's wise. And then now I have not, so this is two, let's see, let's see, let's fight this battle. I have not done an auto, ooh, why is this 825? So is it, is it, is it that, this is 493 plus the star system. So in truth, it's, you know, 600 versus 493, which is fine. But this thing, I don't understand. It is, I wonder if it's because of this star base, which <laughs> is not that big of a deal because I actually just avoid that thing. So we'll have to launch the battle because we could lose it. You know, I, I haven't done an auto battle yet, but I, I wanted to see if it won. Lances and Zapples always hit and, and count enemy armor as 25%. Ouch. Well, that hurt. I'll tell you that much. That hurt. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. This is my, uh, the fleet they gave me, plus a couple of uh, Space Marine strike cruisers. I don't think we have too many escorts in here. So I hope this is, yep, we still got to gather points, though. Okay, so we got to gather that one. We can gather that one. We can gather those three. And that one and yeah stay away from that one so we can fight over these four so I'm gonna have the Space Marine fleet two strike cruisers which are light cruisers and put them in a group because they are really really flat fast the space the uh, Space Marines are really fast if I if you have to take down Eldar uh, I would I would be looking for these guys and one of the other reasons I'd be looking for those guys is because they have such right now I think uh, boarding is kind of OP, especially because you can automatically board um, Eldar vessels because Eldar vessels have no um, shields, which I think really what should happen is that lightning lightning strikes should be on. You only can do it a certain amount of times. Well, I guess you can. And I don't think everyone should be able to do lightning strikes. So let's go here. Boom. I don't know why I have to always do this, but somehow I always do. Here. And if somebody knows how to make me not have to always do this, that would be great. I would love that. 
one. You guys go over there. Space Marines, you go over here. Repositioning. So let's see where they're... Sh uh, okay, they have a ship right there. So I don't know if... And they have two ships there. So... Yeah, I think I got a funny feeling that... No, 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 no. No, no, no. You guys go over here. I got a funny feeling that we're going to come right up here. We're going to seize those two points. And then we're going to go fight over this point. Because I may send... If I had an escort, I'd send it over there. But... I am not going anywhere near that star station. So I don't think the star station should be worth as much because obviously in naval battles, if you can't move, you are not as dangerous as everything else that can move. So I, I would, in my opinion, I would make the star stations worth half the points because that was, that was a little nerve wracking. I was like, what the heck? So these guys smartly at least are going to come up here and try to seize that. Where's that alt? Yeah, that's a little couple asteroid fields around there. All right. Oh no! Wait. Pause. Look at that. Right. Launch my fighters and protect this ship. It, no, I forgot that this ship was my um. And this launch fighters and protect this ship. Enemy. I forgot that that was the captain's, the admiral's ship, the fleet. Give us purpose. They always seem to be able to find, no matter how what you do, they can find your captain ship. So you, that's interesting. It's probably required for some logic in the game, but. What it does is it they always launch fighters at that one ship. So why don't we burn retros here? So we can take that. And while they those guys are over there, the Imperial Navy is over here taking this. And then we're gonna go and fight over that. So this is see this is these long bomber strikes, I see a lot of people do that and it does allow you to see things and maybe it works, I don't know. Um, it probably works with Tau because those Tau have such powerful long-range uh, lasers. But when you do a long-range bomber strike right here, these two Space Marine Star Cruisers, uh, I'm sorry, light cruisers, these strike cruisers, both are using nine turrets. So it's 18 turrets firing at your, your fighters or bombers. Plus, my fighters are also fighting at your fighters or bombers. So I think there's a good chance that you don't get your fighters back and I get mine back because I'm fighting more defensively. I, I, that's, that's my theory anyway. I don't know what this guy is. He's a light cruiser, but he's a... What weapons does he have? Torpedoes. Light. He has a light macro turret. See, yeah, uh, look. See, these... I'm getting... I'm getting, um... My fighters lived. While his fighters, I, I think, are all gone. I don't know. I don't know about doing these long-range bomber strikes around ships that have, you know, defenses. So I, I wait till later on the game where I can isolate a ship, and then I also launch fighters. I try to launch fighters at that ship first to tear to destroy more turrets, so that the bombers can actually get back. I can bring my bombers back, which is, by the way, typical naval air combat. You know, you don't launch bombers at another aircraft carrier. You first. Uh, achieve air superiority over that area and then you launch your bombers so i don't know not here to tell anybody else how to play the game but it seems strange to me all right let's go engines engage you have seized i think i want you guys to go fast hit the big red button full power to engines Go deal with these guys. I am listening. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Unfortunately. The enemy has seized a strategic area. So we can't let him have three to two. Enemy in sight. Alright. Who's shooting at me from over here? Well, the rest of his ships. At your command. Let's go another squadron. Protecting him. We stand ready. Another squadron protecting him. Enemy in sight. We 
serve. You have seized a strategic yeah, area. Let's go. Changing course. All right, where is my? This is my one ship. Where's the other? Okay, the enemy. Why is he not going forward? Underway. Engines engaged. I don't understand why he's not going forward, but okay. What is this? Bogger disruptor bomb. Hopefully that will Give us purpose. Go forward. What? Why, why isn't he going forward? To where we are needed. He's not going forward. Oh. Far. Yeah. Right. Give us purpose. I am listening. Take that point back. Moving to position. Lock on. Setting priority time. Reload. Target. Rearm. It's true. He's pretty good at that stuff. Now we send an auger pro over here so that we know what the heck we're dealing with over there. Oh, there's another guy right here. Course engaged. Understood. What I have for you. Come on, turn and see if we can get some more Setting course. guys on that ship. Borders on that ship. Great right. job. We stand ready. Yeah. yeah, I could sneak. If I had an escort, I could go over and try to steal that point back. Our right. borders have caused internal damage. Good job. Two of their ships are on fire. Boarding should do. Honor the chapter one. Board over here. Sir. And that guy can fire from. Oh my goodness, he's coming over to take my point. Engaging engines. I want that to happen. Uh, can't turn yet. Understood. Acknowledged. Your orders? Give us purpose. Your purpose is Healy has nine turrets and he's on fire, so I think I'm going to tell you to launch some fighters that way. That's what your purpose is. If I can, we serve. Somebody get over there. Disruption bomb. Where should we strike? I 
I'm gonna send you over. You're the fastest. You get over there. Engines engaged. And you have the big red button. Full speed. You, you two guys go this way. Coordinates acknowledged. You missed him. Unfortunate. You guys help. Take this. You take this. We wait your command. And you take. Course engaged. <laughs> oh, that missile strike. Space Marines. Perfect. See, now he can't take that. Bird retros and hold that position. You're holding that position at much pain and suffering, I can tell. Disruption bomb over there. Take down some shields. And... Four troops lost. What the heck? Where's Rally? Mutiny, great. Understood. Perfect. We stand ready. Get yourself. Standard speed engaged. Let's go. Give us some. Get some drifting hulks going. Let's go do some boarding. I don't think you can. Oh, yeah, you have anything enemy. there. Standard speed engaged. Repositioning. Main batteries fire. Good job. Keep firing. Wait your command. And I wish I could hit these stupid little ships with some torpedoes. Changing course. They're really hard to hit because they move so fast. See if that's going to do it. Ten. Missed it. <laughs> uh, oh well. Ship ready. Acquiring new vector. Purpose. I want you to. Your purpose is to board that ship. Redirecting. Like so. And your purpose. Oh, nice. Drifting Hulk. Perfect. Where shall we strike? You shall strike over there. Full speed. Boarding successful. Moving to position. Yeah, hurt. All right, let's see. He has nine. Let's board him some more. Launch Thunderhawks. Give us purpose. The purpose is to board that other ship. Redirecting. Engines. I didn't even say that already. Right. Where should we strike? 
Reporting successful boarding action. Sweet. To where we are needed. Reload. Let me make tourists easy at five. I think we're gonna go straight into the bombers. We have time. Actually, we can go to the boarding. Why is that not my point? We wait your command. Let's, didn't I take that point? I thought I did. That's weird. Huh. We wait your command. For the Emperor. Show us the enemy. Make yourself. Yourself. Drifting Hulk. Nice Close work, Space Marines. Oh, they're ahead. That's well, kind of a pain. Let's see if we can put some fire down this guy's gullet. Setting course. So weird that I thought I had that point. We serve. We stand ready. Give us purpose. I think this guy's sneaking around, stealing my points or something. Didn't thought I had that guy. So he's on fire. He's a drifting Hulk. He's on fire. A drifting Hulk. Drifting Hulk means there's no men on it. On no, uh, no longer any sailors on it to um, stop it. Burn retros is R, by the way. These, I'm just having this guy pound him and him to. He's going to come around here and he's going to continue to pound him. And these guys, he's going to launch bombers or whatever he's got as soon as we get close enough. We really need to lock on. I really need a brace. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Yeah, Very sneakily, too. I don't know how he did that. Alright, so I got these two guys. that they're destroying a... Uh... Why is this guy so slow? right now. Shift ready. Give us purpose. Uh, why don't you put some more people over here? Launch the horns. Okay, so right the there. Come this way. We can have the whole fleet. Give us purpose. Prepare yourself. Terrifying combat. It's like bomb this guy. Okay, this guy's 
getting my guy is getting kind of beat up here. Uh, let's brace for impact. He's not gonna make it. Oh. I should have brought him out before. Repositioning. Engines now. Somebody. How many turrets does he have? Seven. Yeah, I know that you're not going to want anything to do but kill this guy. I got it. What is this? Auger probe so he can't see us. You two take down this escort. Your orders? You're going to honor that strike cruiser that was just lost. That's what you're going to do. Setting priority target. This guy just, they just went and beat each other to death. And we came up short. It's all right. Engine got him. Thank you. Show us the enemy. Engines engaged. Four troops lost. There's another guy? Oh, crazy. Engaging target. Yeah, you're gonna engage him, alright. We're gonna swing right around here and put some men upon that ship. Oh, that guy's gone. We serve. Engaging engines! Accumulated 50% of strategic points. Yeah, I know. Assault proof, report success. Give us purpose. Uh, your first purpose is to avenge your f fallen friend. 1,000 a little bit ahead. We stand ready. Yeah, it would be nice for you to do is be able to hit those torpedoes. That'd be cool. Here's good enough. You need, yeah, that's not going to save right. You destroyed a, a Space Marine strike cruiser. He's not going to stop until he's got you, buddy. What the heck? Are there even more? Oh, there's, oh, there's this, this star base. I was like, what the heck? Is there even more guys? Good oh, lord. Say that you needed to. Drifting Hall. All right. Honor the chapter. You got him.
So I'm three to one. Okay, so I'll win. We lost a space marine strike cruiser. That was not the nice thing there. But, um, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I wonder if the space station got into it. Maybe that's it. You have accumulated seventy-five percent uh, strategic points. Call us the enemy. You have seized a strategic area. Now we're four to one, so it'll go a little faster. And we fast forward. There's a space station, although it's quite powerful, can't move. And if we can't move, we can come seize this point and then leave. What's this shooting at me? You are close to victory by the Oh, drifting hulk. <laughs> Excellent. The space marines got on the thing and killed every single person aboard that ship. That, that uh, to avenge their other strike crews they lost. I understand. Got it. Probably time to give the, the Space Marines a real cruiser anyway. But first, Big Daddy would be me, get a battle cruiser. So, okay, well, that's what we did. We now have taken, we were a little aggressive, but uh, we took both of those in one, uh, one, two turns. Smash, we have no more chaos anywhere in the Cadian sector. We are banged up. We lost some fights, but we are, um, let's see, 87% fleet health, 92. And these guys now can add ships if we had any money. We make 85. So we probably can intern here. I think I'm gonna take this. I think I'm gonna take everything but my that one little cheesy fleet to this new space, this new area. After I upgrade myself to a battle cruiser. Let me see here. One of the nice things about losing ships though is uh, and fight and losing them in a fight is that you lose them against the enemy, but you know you get to add a new ship at 216, 210. So Over Overlord is Plasma Macro Torpedo Launcher and Lance Turn. Armageddon is Heavy Macro, Heavy Lance, Torpedo, and Lance Turret. And Mars is Nova Cannon Space. So I think this is the, is this the guy who, this is the guy who fires, so he is, let's see, range 13, so that's because it's heavy lance. And then this guy has a range of 13.5 and 1800. So I don't know which one is the better. Plasma macro, he has 1800, number text four, and number text lance, one. He has one lance, see, he's the Armageddon. Yeah, see the Mars is the one it so why is you can kind of tell which ships are better because they um they cost more. So this one has hangers and fighters, so they they believe this is better. But I don't really like fighters that much. Um so this one is allegedly why is this better than the Armageddon? So, or you know, six points higher than the Armageddon. Plasma micro batteries. This guy doesn't have plasma. So I'll probably get the overlord. I get the Overlord and then see, let's see here. I can, I have 138 points. So I'm gonna have to get rid of the Lunar. Um, I'll have to get rid of the Lunar. Yeah, I'll have to get rid of the Lunar. I can't give that, I would love to give the Lunar. They won't let you transfer a ship because the Lunar has massive, um, 
experience, but they won't let me transfer one fleet to another to the best of my knowledge. If anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. So I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the Lunar, buy the battle cruiser, get rid of the Lunar, and then I'll have a, over, uh, a Overlord um, battle cruiser and the Dictator. I think that's the Vengeance of Harris too. So, and then he can just keep, he's uh, probably going to, we'll see what happens. So, uh, I'm making 86 per turn. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. They took over something I've got to. Now I got to deal with. Well, that's fine by me. So, new ship, 280. Ah, oh, 260. Oh, here. So I can take the over Overlord. So we, the 216. I don't know. I like the knife fighting. I don't know which is better. They're both speeds the same. Armor appear. Everything appears to be the same over there. The only thing that seems to be different is their weapons. And this is 90 angle side plasma. Very long. Can fire very long at 20% torpedoes. And then it has this thing. The Lance turret. 100% 18. This guy has uh, angle fire 90. Lance. Two of them. Micro angle fire side. Very long 20% chance. And he has another Lance turret, which is angle of fire 270 feet, 270 front. So this guy, he can't do anything on the front. He only can do stuff on the side. Oh no, he has the Lance turret 270 on the front. And then four plasma micro batteries. So we buy this, click. And then I have, see this is 628 with 550. But right now, I, I don't think I can get rid of my Lunar. See, I can't get rid of it. So, oh. See. Okay. Okay. The way they do this is kind of backwards. But I've now figured out something. And you guys can learn too, or you can watch me do it. So I can go to this Dictator. And right here it says Promote to Flagship. Revoke ship. Dismiss this ship and get 25% of its value in resources. You know, yeah, I didn't know to do that. So I'm going to promote the Dictator to my flagship. The Triumph of Harris 2. And, um, okay. And then I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to say add a sh new ship. And then I can get rid of the Lunar. Then I can add the... Go to Deimos Binary and get the... Is this the plasma? This has the plasma. We're gonna try that plasma micro cannons. And so it's 463. I have 87 points left. So then I can do. I can go to Kedia and get uh, a firestorm. I like the firestorms. Click, and then I can get. I have 46 points left, which, come to find out, is exactly one firestorm. Click. So now I have a 545, I have a 545 fleet and it's completely filled. Then what you do is you go back to your ship, Triumph of the Overlord Battlecruiser, and then you promote it to be your Admiral ship. Click. And now that's your Admiral ship. So now you have, I have a full fleet. Now, uh, on my, so with this ship, this is the ship. These are the ships. This is the fleet I'm going to leave here. So I'm going to send him back. And I'm going to send this guy over here with us. So I think I need to get him a cruiser. Because he just lost his second ship. So I can get him a cruiser. Strike cruiser mark one. Strike cruiser mark two. Launch bay. Bombardment cannon. Micro battery. Micro battery, bombardment cannon, and bombardment cannon, heavy lance. So it looks like. 
surgical with the sur the ship has a six percent chance of dealing additional and they shall know no fear plasma reactor all ahead full okay so yeah I think I'm gonna get this about strike mark a three and it's because it heavy lance macro battery I don't know why I don't get this one this one has bombardment cannon micro launch bay so he can launch more bombers and fighters and all this jazz which is may be nice um, it may be essential but his light cruiser can do that too macro batteries pretty far Anglo fighter side and they can go out to 9,000 bombardment cannon yeah I don't really like I don't know what the bombardment cannon does heavy lance he can go 13 out the side and he can go 9,000 out the side and he can go 270 front so I don't really know the only reason this guy is incredible because he has the squadrons. I really don't. I'm not really a squadron guy, so this one claims. So I think I'm going to give him a. Uh, I think I'm going to. Well, I could. Let's see. I got. Yeah, and he's he's pretty lightweight too. So. Um. Is he wounded? He is not wounded. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm not, you see here, I, I wish, don't I have, I don't have any battle plans. I don't know how to get battle plans. I think you have to go over here and I can upgrade here and get battle plans automatically. I think you need battle plans later on. Okay, we're going to end the turn. We're going to try to get him a cruiser and then we'll be out of here. You can do that 530 all you want. Yep. That means they might come in, but we're all sitting right here, so. And but I only have 105. That means the new ship I've got to wait until 242. I gotta wait to two more turns. In turn. Because I really want before we go over here, I don't know if I can get more ships once we go over here. So I have a battle cruiser. A, and a dictator and a bunch of escorts and I want my space marine fleet to have a battle cru uh, a Lisa cruiser um, the going in there so let's see here um, 187 got it in one more turn at least in the next turn I think I got it 180 uh, 260 oh, hopefully I don't have to do another one so I'm, these guys are all 445, so I'm coming in. I'm in attack with, well, I'll try to attack with all three, but the first three ships I'm attack with, well, that's great. Good. Eldar fighting off the, um, two sixty nine. I still can't add. I still got to wait one more turn. I do not want to lose. Oh, here it is. There it is. So I can do a strike cruiser or this one. 194, strike cruiser, confirm. All right, now we go to fight. So I take my ship and we go here. There you go, talky talky. The Fortress Oubliette of Nemesis Tessera was once the Inquisition's most closely guarded secret. A bastion of knowledge and rigor, and a convocation point for the Imperium's most trusted servants. No more. The onset of the 13th Black Crusade set the world awash with treachery and war. Though Nemesis Tessera's dread secrets were stolen, the world itself endured thanks to the heroism of the Space Wolves and Inquisitor Ciro. From the doomed hive world of Kima Lomas to the seditious penal world of Avaris Gulag, the sector remains crippled by corruption and heresy. Yet in the forsaken fields of the Obsidian Depths, mutation, madness, and all their damned siblings are curiously absent. It is as if the Obsidian Depths border onto something not yet adequately defined. Or perhaps 
waiting to be discovered. Alright, strike marines in here. go here right, so yeah I'm not fighting this I've got a list there's something else that I don't see here this is ridiculous um, yeah I've got 825 points to his whatever so auto battle you're out of here did I lose anything no no good um, Okay. Now I think I'm gonna lose leave my Mechanicus fleet and I'm gonna take I can't go because we did that. Alright. In turn can I add I just want to see if I can add a ship here. New ship. No. See? I thought so. The reason I added the ships in the last sector and waited because this new sector, you only can add ships if you're in that sector. All right, that was smart for me to do. In turn. Coming this way, huh? Okie dokie. That's not very smart. One ship is coming this way. 180 ship is coming this way. Okie dokie. Oh, what I could do is I could leave the Mechanicus fleet here. It has two light cruisers. And here, and I can still attack. Yeah, I only can attack with two ships anyway. So might as well do that. So I can take my my main fleet and come here, and then I can take my um, Dorn Space Marine allies and come here, leave my fleet here, and then I can fight two battles. We can fight two battles at once. Well, when he comes over, we can fight. I wonder what happens if I fight this battle and I beat these two ships, does he still launch a fleet that way? So, it'll be interesting to see that. Launch battle. Okay, I can do 849. I want my fleets in and then as much as I can do there. Retreat positions are two. Altuan, we're fighting Altuan, that's unfortunate. What the heck? Did you hear that? The heck was that? The region of space now known as the Eye of Terror was once home to the Eldari Empire. Mm -hmm. A prideful, sensuous people, the Eldari realized too late the perils of excess. The fourth Chaos God, Slanish, was born from their debauchery. It's coming heralded by a psychic scream that shook real space to its foundations and devastated the Eldari. The Crone Worlds are all that remain of the Eldari's fallen domain. They are blighted planets, consumed by the spreading unreality of the Eye of Terror and twisted to new and nightmarish realities. Though the Crone Worlds are overrun by the servants of the Dark Gods, the Eldari have not entirely abandoned them. They cannot, for only here can the treasured spirit stones be harvested, and thus the souls of the dying be saved from thirsting slanish. Such expeditions are fraught with peril, for there are few more dangerous places amongst the stars. Many who seek the Crone Worlds do not return. The Eldari have never recovered from the horrors of the Fall. 
They are a fractured, dwindling population on the brink of extinction. Most dwell aboard star-treading craft worlds, honing their peerless minds along the disciplined paths in the hope of staving off the perils of decadence and thus preventing a second, final catastrophe. But not all Eldari can bear the rigidity of craft world life. Some depart their homes, seeking adventure amongst the stars as Corsairs. Such lives are fraught with danger, but are also rich with excitement. These outcasts can be found in every corner of the galaxy, blazing a brief but exhilarating trail before madness claims them. The Drakari too live outside the structures of the Eldari path. Corrupt and cruel, they keep Slanish at bay, not with discipline and spirit stones, but by feasting on the torment of others. Raiders and slavers all, the Drakari are a blight upon the galaxy, as selfish as they are sadistic, as untrustworthy as they are cunning. But in recent days, the barriers between the Eldari factions have begun to crumble, with ever more gathering beneath the banner of one named Ivrain. These Inari keep their beliefs hidden, as hidden as their intentions. Should they be encountered on the battlefield, caution will serve you well. I had to try out my new battle cruiser. I was calling the uh, light cruiser strike cruiser, but it wasn't in my new strike cruiser. At least we've got some good sized ships and we have a good investment in, um, in light, uh, in escorts. I would like to work on some escorts for the space Marine. I think of the, the attack fleet is going to be myself, this, the, the Imperial Navy and the space Marines. They seem like, I, I think they do pretty well. All right, whoever the second subscriber is is going to get named uh, one of these ships. So what are we doing here? Are we just doing Cruiser Clash? Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Trying to fight the Eldar just like this is going to be extremely painful. Now, I'll tell you something I see. A lot of guys that I see will put their escorts up front. In truth, the escorts are your, one of your most important things in front of the, uh, for the Eldar. The escorts are extremely valuable because they have that little ping where they can see stuff. So I actually protect my escorts. Tell them that in this case, I'm going to tell them to hit here, uh, fire out their side so they keep moving, fire at longest distance possible, stay on target. And then um, be control group three. Yeah, you already control group three. So these guys are control group one. Nope. This one, this one, and this one. Control group one. Go for it. Um, be at your longest distance possible. Nah, not sure. Go in close, fire at your side, stay on point. So now what I do is I go uh, ready, and then this is... is Changing course. Where, 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 where the heck are you going? Oh, identified. What the heck were those? Oh boy, Eldar space station. That's just great. Outside craft course. Course. course engaged. So I like to keep my escorts somewhat understood. Trying to keep them a little bit safer. Because in my opinion, all right. So what do we got? We've got some ships over there. We've got some ships over here. All right. So let's let's kind of move this thing along. Three burn retros. Burn retros. Why is my ship wounded? We serve. Battle cruiser. Why is he wounded? What happened? Your orders? He's brand new. Why is he wounded? Half his hit points are down. He didn't hit anything. What the heck? Understood. 
Why is he wounded? That is not cool. Heading acknowledged. All right, three. Let's go here. Let's go. Give us purpose. Your orders. Underway. All right. Slow this down for a minute. Who do I see here? Okay, that's good. So remember, the nice thing about these guys are they have no shields. So if you come over here, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do this. We really can't use a torpedo. I can't believe that my guy is already wounded. I don't know what happened. Engaging engines. Escorts are some of the most powerful, the most important ships, so you just don't I lose them because they have that little ping ability, so they can see these filthy Xeno scum because they are hidden. Them and the worthless. You can't I am listening. point your backside at these guys, or they will hurt you. Redirecting. Their ships are fast, but you know what? They're not fast Engaging enough. Engines. They have no shields, so you can. Why can't I? Impossible, Admiral. Coordinates acknowledged. Why can't I grab him? Oh, weird. His ships are fast, but um. Oh, there he goes. We stand ready. Enemy Lock sighted. On. Somewhere else. See those you torpedoes coming at you? Yours. Your Man. Here, just. I'm gonna supercharge your voice shield. Show us the enemy. Before it's too late. Augur disruption, maybe. Not let these guys see us so much. Why is my battle cruiser already wounded? Anybody have any idea about that? I don't know. All right, lock on, give us some better range. Lock on, give us some better range. All right, you guys go fast. Hit the big, the big red button. The rest of you, you two, hang back and be protected. We serve. Setting course. Good lord. Torpedoes are Aye, Admiral. fighting another faction with torpedoes is kind of a pain. Underway. Right. Where shall we strike? What you should do is here. I think. All servitors and tech marines begin repairs. Enemy sighted. Your orders. For the Emperor. I cannot believe my battle cruiser is already wounded. Why Ship is that? Ready. So can he mark Aye, people Admiral. yet? He can mark these guys. Enemy sighted. Huh. Somebody else over there. Uh, see how my guys immediately start to shoot him? Perfect. Ship ready. You can slow down now. Ship ready. Excellent. Give us purpose. Direct your command. Course engaged. Setting course. 
not nice. We could just... Just blow up some... I just... I think it took one of their guys down. Nice. The Eldar are some slippery bastards. And the game is... Fortunately, the AI is not very good at... Fighting them, I've seen... Oof. Chance of you ever hitting them. orders. Your orders. Make sure you go fast course. so you can mark some of these guys for me. All ahead, full. Oh, actually caught him. Nice. Can you launch you no know, crazies on there? We wait your command. Changing course. We wait your command. No battle plans. Battle plans. That little thing means he has battle plans. Lightning strike that ship. Thank you. It comes across my... his nine turrets. Fighter him too. Ooh, not a good place to stop there, friend. <laughs> Because you better keep moving because those torpedoes are coming for you. And they're all missed. Yep, nope, nope, got one. Underway. Your orders? Execute high energy turn. Understood. Ship ready. All right, that guy's fire aboard. We serve. We stand ready. Wounded again. We wait your command. Can't launch anything. Setting course. Hmm. 
need to get over here because if you're by yourself with the Eldar, wait, wait, you will on. get smoked. We are Eldar love to pick on. Did he just strike? take my battle plans back? I think he did. For where we are needed. Huh. Took my battle plans back. Did you see that? Can't believe that. He took my battle plans back. We wait your command. That was rude of you. Acquiring new vector. Let me see here. Ship ready. Understood. Why can't I lightning strike him? It's like his Impossible hollow capital. fields or something are up. Your orders? Coordinates acknowledged. Aye, Admiral. Hmm. Yeah, you're never going to be able to catch space elves, basically. <laughs> Torpedoes and fixing yourself. Marines, calm the machine spirits. How about how many turrets does he have? I'm about to knock down his turrets. That'll work. Now can I lightning strike him? No. Why can't I love this? either. Underway. Changing course. Ship ready. I am listening. I had to go right through the middle of the worst. Underway. Uh, you're not going to make it out of here. I don't believe so. At your command. Oh, I did. I probably did it myself. Standard speed engaged. Yeah. Why don't you try to get out of here? Redirecting. I doubt you're going to make it, but <clears throat> you can try. We serve. Interesting battle plans. Engaging engines. Oh, no, they left. Oh well. Ship ready. All right. See now you can take your escort again yes, and go. I still see you. Enemy sighted. We stand ready. Get 
out of here. Hold course. We wait your command. I don't know where the battle plans went. Oh, there they are. They're way up there. Where's your super void shields? Hover that down. Maybe they can't hit you. Aha! Maybe I can lightning strike him now. Yes, I can. Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike. The problem is he's just gonna take ship my. Ready. Loaded and sent. Engaging target. Is this guy trying to get out of here still? I am the Your orders? My orders are. Your orders? My orders are lightning strike at SLB again. How do I win this? Imperial Guard versus Eldar. <sighs> As you see, it's uh, they're fast and sneaky, and I guess I've pushed them all the way across the map. Though that's that's good. But you need to go hide in here. Can you get there, please stay there. And I would like you to send some fighters over here. Something that let me see nine turrets. Man, why can't my guys? Yeah, screw that. How do you start taking it down? Why in the world can't I keep hitting them with fighters and it, they just don't seem to die? <laughs> it's like, the heck? Oh, he's gonna steal my lightning, my plans back. But I have. It's terrible. We wait your command. I have. Um, I had shields up. So can he? We wait your command. All right. Man, this is kind of a pain. It's like grab the goat or something. Like Trying to chase these guys to the edge of the map. It's incredible. This guy can launch. Can you board? Nope, you can't board. That's good though. Yourself. Heading acknowledged. Your orders? Engaging engines. Good lord. Alright. 
Who's next on the ping list? Do you have a ping? Nope. Hi, Admiral. Do you have a ping? You do have a ping. How far is your ping out there? Not far enough. On the way. Let's get you going a little faster. Ship ready. 14 seconds before I can launch shark boats at my dang battle plans. That little symbol right there. Urgh. What is this? Plasma bomb? Well, I don't want to blow that ship up, quite, ship up quite yet. I'll blow you guys up though. You don't move. We wait your command. Engaging engines. Enemy sighted. Wounded? Oh, where's my strike cruiser? Where shall we strike? You shall strike nowhere. You should stay right there. Hold and advance! Fix yourself. Bugger probe everybody down if you can. Yeah, you guys better get out of there. Because I am not stopping. I am. This guy can no probe. Marked. Give me my launch boat. Hopefully you make it. Good luck, long. Good luck, men of the Empire. Go get my battle plans. Thieving Eldar. The escorts, in my opinion, are so much useful for hunting down these fast guys. We they keep pushing them back. It seems that they, actually the AI has gotten a lot better at, in my opinion. They just keep shooting, backing up, shooting, backing up, shooting. It's unfortunate, but uh, that's what it does. It's kind of what the Eldar do. Should reload. Good stuff going out there. Ship ready. Battle cruiser was all already Reset. wounded. Don't know. Engaging. Course engaged. No, you're not Ship going ready. anywhere, there, son. I think you're escaping this corner of the map. No, you're not. Execute high energy turn. You two go that way, you two go this way. Your orders? These guys are not escaping this map. Keep flooding it with ordnance. We might get lucky. Where the heck are the battle plans? Your orders? My, my orders were to get the damn battle plans. You guys down all over the bloody damage teams. Begin repairs now. Map. Well, you could have escaped if you kept going. I guess the salt bolts didn't work, we huh? Serve. All right. Lightning strike him. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Why can't I lightning strike him? Oh, I did. By the lightning strike. We serve. Well, I have the battle plans and I have shields, I think. There we go. We wait your command. Let him go running silent if he can. Running silent. 
silent so we can't Understood. less easily target him. Wonder what Mark does for you. We it just says marked. Targeting enemy vessel. Target blocked. We wait your command. We wait your command. Your orders? I hope so. Just put a lot of energy into that sucker. Seven turrets. I think we're gonna go straight for bombers. We gotta get these ships down. Man, this guy's hard. Oof. All right. Ship ready. I have no idea where my own ships are. I was gonna, I can put a Your orders? get out of the way. That's my orders, pretty much. Who, who are you? Who are you? I don't know where anybody is. It's just one big cluster in there. But I'm about to put some torpedoes down there. Ship ready. And just let them land where they land. So this guy right here is hurt. Oh, you're about Engaging. to go away. Because you're about to eat all those torpedoes. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah, you're, you're gone, buddy. You're we gone. Saw. Changing course. Execute high energy turn. Yeah. Coordinates acknowledged. Acknowledged. Yeah, we are really beaten up. Acquiring new vector. All right, well, we have one ship we left. Serve. I think we can all take care of that one ship. At least he doesn't blow up all my escorts. Can I board him? Be great if we I could. Can I board him over here? No. He's hard to hit. I guess that's Eldar. Your orders? I guess that's Eldar. Course engaged. We wait your turn. He's not long for this world. Now we gotta go destroy all those platforms though. Is wounded. Why is my battle cruiser wounded? I it started off wounded. Did it bump into something? All right. Where are these battle stations? Uh, I do not want to deal with these ships. All right. So my battle cruiser needs to stay away. And you need to run. You guys are already running silent. So and you need to stay far away as possible too. In we fact, serve. all three just stay stay like nine thousand. And then uh, my battle cruiser is already staying away. 
I Your want you to stay extremely far away. Don't you burn retro? Burn retro. The other guy go. Yep. See, as soon as you can hit, that's fine. Changing you course. come in at 4.5. Yeah, that's fine. Understood. And why don't you suppress? Um, I guess you could suppress the first guy there. Fury interceptors in flight. Do you have anything left? Yes, you do. Suppress this guy also. Get the status out of range of this jerk. Fire shooting to take those down now, too. Uh, do not. You're an idiot. You Ship are ready. an idiot. Execute high energy turn! He just moved right in the middle. Brace for impact. Brace for impact! You are going to die. Because. You didn't get a fire on them. Aye, Admiral. Why don't you get out of here? Changing course. Stay away from Torpedo Boy. How about that? Your orders? Underway. We wait your command. Do I get two torpedo strikes? Oof, almost, but the turret's probably shy. We serve. Ship. Imperial <laughs> escort destroyed. Oh, you still got it. Took it really fast enough. I think this is not uh, Setting course. that exciting. Although you could lose it, uh, but it's just pounding 
static fortresses to into the deck. painful than I want it. Now, like I said, I wonder if the Eldar, the Eldar was, uh, were attacking from this system. I wonder if they're going to still attack from this system. That was more painful. I hope I can heal uh, before I take on this, uh, the next mission, because that hurt. Even if they're about to launch an attack, you go in there, you kill them, then they don't have enough. Now, can these guys recover, heal? No. Oh. He can heal, but only because they're a Nimus, Nimurus Terra. What is this? It's a Pinot world and. Um, Seditious ground because increased chaos threat by one in the sector unless one of your fleets is stationed in the system. Ugh. Seditious ground. What a pain. Well, okay. Um, yeah. So that's a lot of points right there. I don't know. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should flee with that guy because he can't stay. If both of them, well, they they warn before the attack. Okay, so I hope, um, I hope these guys can um, heal. So I'm at seventy points and he's at seventy four points. So when we get back, we'll see if they can heal in this new solar system, and then if they can't, we got to fly all the way back to the other solar system to heal. And then fly back here to do this little mission here before our little check marks all add up. This doesn't look like a big sector. It only has a few star systems, so I think we should just smash this whole place. Maybe we should smash it before we do this uh, special mission. We have a few times. We'll see. That's 539, but right here is the Eldar. This is the pain. Um, now I wish I could have... Um, now I wish I would have uh, used a Nova, Camp, Nova Spam. And maybe fighters are more useful, man. This is a little painful. What is this? 
open the way to the system for four battle plans. Oh, I can't get over there. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go over there actually. But they probably could attack over here. Yeah, great. All right, we'll see if we can heal in this sector. Thank you very much for tuning in. Sorry for it was the first time I fought the Eldar. I thought it was pretty good though. Um, but we lost that one escort. Maybe could have done better. All right, have a good one. Be kind.